Creating reports in iBank5 is a fast and intuitive way to review your financial information. You can use iBank's report templates to help prepare your taxes, analyze investment returns, monitor your spending habits, project account balances into the future, keep tabs on your credit card, and make progress toward your financial goals. The key is to categorize your transactions as much as possible. Using categories unlocks the power of iBank to track your finances clearly and use reports effectively. Let's create a new report. Click the plus button at the top of the source list and choose Add Report. iBank comes preloaded with powerful report templates to suit your needs, income and expense, net worth, portfolio summary, US tax, and more. Let's choose the income and expense template. Click Next. First off, I can check off individual accounts I'd like to include or exclude. Additionally, I can set up smart rules to select accounts automatically based on their type, currency, or classification. For example, maybe I'd like to limit the report to only include one of the account groups I've created, or include only credit card accounts on this report. This allows for lots of customization. I'll go back to Limit to Specific Accounts and click Next. Then I can choose to exempt or include data on the report by category or devise a custom report by using smart rules about categories. Again, using smart rules gives you lots of customization. For example, I might want to report on only taxable transactions, or have a report that shows my medical-related expenses for the time frame. I'll leave it set to report on all categories. Additionally, I can check the Include Uncategorized Transactions box to include any transactions that I've not assigned a category to. Click Next. On the Date drop-down menu, there are convenient presets so you don't have to pick start and end dates. I'm interested in all of last year, so I'll choose Previous Year. I'll name the report and keep the currency set to US dollars. Any transactions included in this report that are not in US dollars will be automatically converted to them. If you have transactions in other currencies, iBank automatically downloads the current exchange rates whenever you click the Update button. If you check Include Scheduled Transactions, this allows you to include transactions that are scheduled into the future if your date range from the previous page includes future dates. Click Next. The report has been created. What is generated is a report on my 2013 finances with pie charts for income and expenses. I can click on any of the specific slices to drill down for more information. You can also return to the previous view with the back button. You can also drill down to edit specific transactions in the report with a single click. The report will automatically update to reflect any changes you make. If you scroll down through the report, you'll see a bar chart where you can click on any segment to look at the data represented there. The transactions in your report are also shown in table form. You can click any table row to drill down as well. From any report, if I hover over a table, I'll see a little icon appear that will allow me to export the table data. I can click it, choose a save location, and iBank will save a tab delimited file that I can open in a spreadsheet application such as Numbers or Excel. The reports you create are saved in your source list. Notice that this report looks at all of my accounts together. To customize the report to view specific accounts or categories, double-click the report in the source list to see the pop-up. You can make specific selections or exclusions there. If you change any of the options here, the report will automatically update. You can print out a hard copy of the report from the print command under iBank's file menu. Or, using the print dialog box, you can choose to save your report as a PDF. For more information on this topic, search the iBank help menu for About Reports.